Tony Khan also talked about the Ring of Honor. We do have Ring of Honor's coming, everybody. Ring of Honor's coming. It has a premiere date. Tony Khan revealed to SI Wednesday, our own Sports Illustrated, that uh, it will debut Thursday, March 2nd, on Honor Club. The first episode will air exactly one year from the date that he announced he had purchased the promotion. As we talked about, they've got tapings that are scheduled. That's why uh, a couple of people have been pulled from indie events, including Beyond. Saturday, February 25th, and Sunday, February 26th. From where? Universal Studios in Orlando, Florida. That sounds familiar if you're old. So uh, you'll be able to watch it. And uh, and that's how this thing works here. So, uh, yeah. The Peter North of Wrestling Shows. Yep, and ROH here. From Universal Studios. And I hope that this is not a regular thing. I got to be honest. Uh, the atmosphere when it comes to Universal Studios, no matter how hard you try, can become stagnant quickly. So hopefully they're able to do these on the road. Hopefully they're able to hook up with New Japan some weekends. Uh, I, I don't know what the answer is there, but uh, it, the more they're on the road, the more experience that some of their roster gets. And, you know, there's not a lot of turnaround time to this, which I think is very important as well, too, because if it was going to be two weeks, that's too long sometimes two days is too long but the turnaround time is really important in case they have a hot match that it stays hot and everybody wants to really builds up and wants to see it wheeler yuda tracy williams trisha dora all pulled from a sunday beyond wrestling event to uh to make this thing work and you know what's interesting is is uh you know tony never says anything about anything i don't know if you noticed or not but uh what was the plan for Ring of Honor? Because it, we're in uh, we're midway through February. In December, actually, it was like early December. So that was uh, early December, early January, early. That was over two and a half months ago. I think it was before Final Battle. They said we're gonna we're gonna talk about Ring of Honor TV after Final Battle. So then what they said was we'll have more on Ring of Honor TV. After the Tokyo Dome. So myself and a lot of other people thought, hey, you know, maybe they're going to do something with, with Strong. And uh, and they'll do like Strong slash Ring of Honor and they'll have some sort of working aggr- whatever. And so we waited. And then the Tokyo Dome came. And then it was announced that Strong was finished. So then you really start thinking, okay, well, you know, Strong's done. We haven't had a Ring of Honor TV announcement. It was supposed to be after the Tokyo Dome. So we waited. And then Strong's just rebooting. And now Ring of Honor is just doing random tapings in Orlando and airing them on Honor Club. So, Well, well, well not Brian. Remember, you got to buy Strong on demand as well. Well, my, my, my point is that, like, what was going to happen? Because it seems from, from what everybody was talking about, something was coming. I have no idea why he had to wait till after the Tokyo Dome. We're now, you know, six weeks after the Tokyo Dome for an announcement that we're just going to be taping it. So it seems like there there was an idea for something, and the idea fell through. But since he doesn't talk about anything, we have no idea what it is. So, back in a moment. Observer Live. Back in the show, Brian Alvarez here, Wrestling Observer Live. Like Semper Vivi, also WrestlingObserver.com. So, uh... My well, main man, DJ, here. He says, I like Tony. I love Ring of Honor. I like Dark. I do not feel compelled to buy what is essentially a jumped-up Dark taping. Well, first off, we don't know what it's going to be. But here's the thing with this, uh, this Ring of Honor. So, uh, yeah, it might be a, a hyped-up Dark taping. But you know what? You ever watch, uh, you ever watch Dynamite and Rampage? You ever, you ever listen to the feedback from fans? Why isn't so-and-so on the show? Why isn't so-and-so on the show? Why don't we make a list of people they've hired that are not on the show? They got way, way too many people under contract. And Tony, last year, went on a hiring spree. Literally everybody, everybody that came due that had any talent whatsoever, sign them, 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 sign them. Now, all we get are complaints 
that we don't see this person enough. We don't see that person enough. Why don't they do anything with this person? Why don't we do anything with that person? Well, you know what you need to do? You need to move a bunch of those people to Ring of Honor, even if they're big names. And I know I know what you're going to say, which is, bro, you're paying them all that money and you're going to put them on Ring of Honor Honor Club? Yes, because the alternative is to pay them all that money and not have them anywhere, okay? They're, you know, this rampage is just like, you know, it's, it's hurting, okay? It's dying. Maybe dying is the wrong word, but it was pretty dead this week, under 400,000. And uh, the thing is, they are, they are setting up for a new television deal. It's coming soon. And I, I think, I think, because once again, Tony doesn't say anything about any of this. I think that there's, there's a couple of options here in Tony's mind. And that is, we're close to a million every week on, uh, on Dynamite. And we're around 500,000 on Fridays for Rampage. Or I make both shows. I put everybody on both shows. I try to make both shows important. And both shows end up less important. And now I do 700 on Wednesday and 600 on on Friday. It's probably better to do a million, close to a million on Wednesdays and, uh, you know, do what we can for Friday. But one of these shows needs to be number one on cable or close to number one on cable as often as possible for this TV deal to come up. So that's what I think is in his brain. Okay, but uh, there's still there's still too much talent. I feel like you could make Rampage a, a better show. And if he's worried about having Rampage be a better show to the point that you actually maybe hurt the Dynamite rating a little bit, I don't know. You know, maybe maybe some of these guys need to go to to uh, Ring of Honor on Honor Club. But the fact of the matter is, this does not have to be a an AEW dark, AEW elevation style show. I mean, you can have big names that cycle in and out. He already cycles people in and out of Dynamite. But right now they get cycled off television. Why not cycle them to Ring of Honor, have stars, have programs, have big matches? And then when it's time, you bring them back and they're fresh again. So it can be done. I don't know what they're going to do. We're going to find out in, uh, in a little while now, early March, when they do these tapings. I guess, late, I guess we'll find out in February, actually. But, I mean, you can, you can make this bigger than a nothing happened show, for sure. You know, loosely related... Do you have WAPA by chance, WAPA America, on any of your streaming options there? The El Wapo? station, no, no, not El Wapo, but uh, the station that shows World Wrestling Council out of Puerto Rico. I have. I would be very surprised if I had this. I checked in on it for the wrestling news because they had their 50th anniversary coming up this year, and. It has been hard times for a long time for them, especially after Hurricane Maria. And they have a show which was from Coliseo, was it Dolores, Toyota Martinez, and Juana Diaz. And there was maybe 30 people there and kids under 10 are free. And there were a lot of them running around. And I'm looking at this thing and it's like, you know... I know it would cost Tony money and, you know, who am I to spend Tony's money? But it's like, I don't know what wrestling schools you're working with, but there are a lot of people who have just are just cutting their teeth that desperately need, you know, some attention, but not too much attention. And the colognes are out of Puerto Rico for anybody that was, you know, with them tied back to the past. And it's like. I wonder who could come down here because it wouldn't take much. They have so little talent down there. There's only like two people, you know, really of note. So it's like you could go down there and actually mean something to the local crowd and get a lot of people experience that could desperately need it without, you know, being showcased too much. I, I, I don't know. I know that's really not what we're talking about there. But as far as like, you know, loosely getting talent used, you know, as you're talking about some of the major talent, you know, there's a lot of people that they've signed that – really could use some experience somewhere else like a trench and a or whatever his name is and the parker Boudreaux's and people like that of the world and no i didn't say that's why rampage is the way it is i didn't say that in fact i specifically said i don't know why he books it like that now i did say that maybe that's why i speculated don't write some stupid story about this but why are there almost never 
these big time main event versus main event matches on Rampage? Why is it always stars? Why is it always an A level talent versus you know a C level talent? Why are, are a C level talent doing a, a whatever? Why is it like that? I don't know, but clearly there's a reason for it. I mean, he does A level versus A level on Rampage all the time. It's not like he doesn't know how to do those matches or won't. He will, but not on Rampage. Why? Well, I don't know, but I think you probably should do that on Ring of Honor television because what you're asking people on, to pay for, uh, you know, whatever. What comes on before and after Rampage? I don't know. I'm asking the chat this. I'm not 100% sure here. Anybody what know? What comes on because, you know, they need to somehow tie themselves into whatever. If there's any sports programming Dumb on Dumb movies, I not, nah, see, DJ that's says. the problem right there, too. That's a big problem right there. If they had some sports to latch on to, it would be a little bit better. Actually, that's a lie because, you know, whatever their rating is on Friday, it's going to be probably better than whatever the National Hockey League is getting. But if it would, could be basketball in some sort of way, if they can latch on to baseball when, when that kicks off, that might be their best bet to try to do something with Friday because it is just a tough night. Poor Steffi. Every time she comes out, she gets... Poor Steffi, all right. Yeah. Any anyway, she, her and her dad were in the in the ring, and he was oh, going to give gonna her. It's going to be quite a review a, tonight. He was going to give her a trophy for something. <laughs> yeah. Oh, the good old days. And then uh, Shane tells his dad he wants to run Monday Night Raw. <laughs> this is insane. Meanwhile, right. there's gigantic news in the world of wrestling that we're not talking about because we got to talk about a Raw from 25 years ago. Yes, Granny. Can I stay long enough to hear what the news is? I know what it is. Well, we don't know what the news is officially, Granny, so just tune in tomorrow. No. <laughs> what a crummy show. Oh. Wow! What do you want me to do about it? What the? <laughs> if you enjoy these videos, for just $7.99 per month, you can enjoy full-length editions of The Brian and Vinny Show, Wrestling Observer Live, Figure Four Daily with Tom Lawler and Lance Storm, the Mad Men podcast, Speak Now Pro Wrestling with Denise Salcedo and more, plus hundreds of archived shows, all in beautiful HD. Don't miss out. Join us today.